so a lot of you guys have been asking for more Olympic lifting uh, training tips. So I only Olympic lift probably one to two times per week right now with a focus on strongman. However, I just did a 405 clean. My grip has never felt stronger due to the strongman training. So I really think that there is a purpose of training strongman and weightlifting together because they will correlate directly into your progress. Uh, so. A great thing that helps me, especially on my cleans, is doing clean pulls. So I will show you guys my clean pulls now. And when you're watching the clean pull, really pay attention to my angle of my back, um, as well as my shoulders and my hips, and they rise together. Now, a lot of times you'll see people who start pulling and they either raise their chest too fast or they shoot their hips up very fast, uh, and that just messes up the bar path. So. Um, what I really like to do is doing those clean pulls over and over again with a weight that I can really keep a nice tight back and make sure you're using a video to see your back and that will increase your pull on your clean greatly. Also a lot of programs will put clean pulls or snatch pulls at over 100%. However, I do not think you should go over 100% of your one rep max if you can't keep that form. So make sure you're working at a weight to maintain that form and increase the weight as your form stays perfect. All right guys, so when doing your clean pull, I love clean pulls because you have to get into your starting position. So get in your starting position, hands will be uh, at the grip that you need. Now, to find out where your grip needs to be, make sure that it's right on the soft spot of your hips. So if I had my hands too close, that would be low and I'd probably hit my private part, so we don't want to do that. So we're going to adjust wider, and that's where I want my grip to be. Now from here, eyes are going to be neutral and head's going to be up, just keeping your spine uh, in a neutral position. As you come up, you're going to pull into your hips, and then get that hip pop and a nice big shrug. When the bar comes into your hips, make sure that we pop the bar straight up and then shrug and pull rather than out. So if I were to do it out, it would look like this. And we want to go straight up. So straight up will look more like this. And that bar, our hips are going to come under the bar and uppercut the bar. It's going to cause the bar to float. And that's when we are going to get our shrug in there and pull ourselves underneath the bar. So here's an example of something that I see often and it's not what I want you guys to do. This is what happens when our hips shoot up first. So we're in our start position and as we pull, our butt comes up first. So it looks more like this. What we want is to keep our hips low and to drive up the same plane as our shoulders, pulling that bar into our body. So my shoulders are over the bar right now and we're gonna ride it up into that hip hop and triple extension. Mm -hmm.